Question, question number one. Elliot, where do you see yourself in 10 years time? Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Ben Phillips, not so pranks, but Ben and Elliot, the 10 year anniversary. Can you believe it has been 10 years making these videos? I certainly can't as today I'm 31 years old and only 10 years ago when I was 21 did I make my first ever video on Elliot. But before we find out what happens in the next 10 years, let's look back at the last 10 years. Now this story doesn't begin here. And Elliot will be too young to tell you this, but it's a tale that I vividly remember. All the way in the heart of Wales, in a small valley called Nanty Moyle. <laughs> Are we working? Are we rolling? Nanty Moyle is a small valley based in Wales where I grew up and my childhood basically began. So I haven't been here for 16 years. It's quite special to me because there was always this place where I felt safe, warm, and it was family. It was home. And we didn't have much. We really didn't have much. My accent's starting to come back now, but it is because I'm in Nanty Moyle Valley. But this is where it all started. The valleys. <laughs> boys and we'd all run into my house and back then you remember Pokemon cards and Beyblades we'd have a little like stadium there a little Beyblade stadium they'd throw Beyblades and they'd fight each other crazy I kind of wish life was that happy and simple now to be honest to you so there was garbage technology and bollocks I mean look we're celebrating 10 years of bloody technology really aren't we Ben Elliot videos really we should be celebrating 10 years ago it was an easier life ah jokes I enjoy the money <laughs> You just gonna let me walk down here, is it? Because I'm a born and bred valley boy. This was the back lane to the house. And I never thought in a million years we'd be making this video. <laughs> Coming back to Nanty Mall is quite, it's weird for me. This, this was my house. You can see on the door, number 10. And I'll show you something. This was the lane that I grew up playing with my best friends at the time. My parents, that is a house back there. You can see at the top of this house there. That used to be an allotment. And we used to play in that allotment. Light fires. I'd light this thing on fire every month. Sorry to the neighbors back then. It was so innocent, the, the way we were in. So free. And what I'm trying to say is that we were born you to be mischievous. Pranks were in everyone's blood, basically. It was, it was in our blood to cause trouble, right? And we were always pranking our friends, whether it be water bombs, lighting them on fire. Don't do that. Don't try that. Home. Yeah, just causing shit, and it's so weird to be back here and do this. And I, this felt appropriate for 10 years of not just Ben Elliott, but Ben Phillips essentially. I'm 31 today. If you're watching this, I'm 31 years old. Oh, you probably started watching me when I was maybe even back to 1918. Time flies when you're having fun, or you're basically getting old and gonna die, one of the two. I think what was mad about this is that this was like a park that we all used to hang out while living here and it was a very very well used park and you look at that it's quite sad to see that actually the local authorities aren't able to keep it up for the kids because this was always very important this was such an important place for all the kids in Antimal because when you think about it you're 30 minutes away from Bridgend and Bridgend's where the nearest shop of any substances for anyone or any sort to come back here and see for me as a kid, and probably most kids now, the main source of entertainment like that. Pretty shit to be honest with you. Mm. So this is the fish and chip shop that my dad used to bring me down all the time to get fish and chips. It's been here for years, look how old it is. Remember those little gift things they used to do? <laughs> are you out? Yes, I am. I'm actually a big fan of you. I'll live, I'll live you. You are? Yes, uh, yes. I've, I've lived here for years and always come here. I'm ben, sorry. my name's Ben. And Elliot. Don't let me through my feet. Yeah, Maria! Oh my god! Sorry, just fight it right there! No, it's fine! Yeah. No, it's fine! Wait. And I said, Tristan, there's one chip shop in the entire Wales you have to go to. And it's place. Oh, you're darling. So, in that case, we'll have three large chips. I didn't even chips. notice you, I'm looking at it, I'm like... Who are you filming? Yeah, who are you? This is the valley, Tristan, put that camera down. <laughs> so as you can see, my journey began in the valleys and I ended up moving to Bridgend, working in my mother's shoe shop, and then I went to school and got a couple of Ds. Not those types of Ds. Well, I did end up getting double Ds later on, but we'll talk about that at a different time. But one of my closest family members at the time was my grandfather, Baylor Kedro, and he always wanted me to be a professional fisherman, carp fishing, and one day, maybe own my own lake. Well, beef, we got our own lake. However, why that's important is because 
it's not only did I become a professional fisherman, but that was the start of my first ever vlog. And that really is where the 10 years of Ben Elliott begun. So I'm on the way up. I'm on the... <laughs> Right, so I've just seen a carp jump up in front of me. Um, it's just sort of bellied over. All I'm going to use is half a discharge pop up, half a boily. Right, so it's been an awesome night. I didn't have many fish, as you guys know. Right, I've got both my rods up on the left hand side. I'm using the scope explanation. That's something nice, mate. Now, when I say I'm going to tell the true story, I tell the true story. And through my entire life, I've met some amazing people. One young gentleman known as Harley really was a part of my life for four years. And this is really where my social media started. My cousin introduced me Vine. I thought, what's Vine? It must be an app about vineyards. No, it was an app for six second clips where you made the most viral content in the world. And at the time, with my partner and her son, Harley, I decided to make some videos called Dr. Harley, which was very cute, featuring a young boy who was a doctor analysing and curing an older guy named Ben. That's where Ben and Harley begun. And it was a very special time. Everybody's so busy, who's got time for six second apps? But obviously, 430,000 people have got time for us. We just actually go on holiday. The Bahamas! <laughs> Harley, do you want me to feed you? No. Harley, I insist I feed you. I insist I feed you. I insist. I smell trouble! What's the problem? That bed's been naughty. It'll never get me. Oh. Get down! Dr. Harley, if you go on Litty Bum, those cat is dirty. What's your bum? Bear. Today we're reporting live on ITV. <laughs> Do you call a pick and those karate? Pork chopper! <laughs> I got my idea. Tell me. We always be good. I think we always will. <laughs> Must destroy Buzz Harley. Buzz Ben, you be naughty! What are you gonna do about it? Oh! Harley, has 150,000 followers changed you at all? Not at all. Twinkle, twinkle, little horse. Horse? <laughs> Please watch Sign Vines, North America, British. Don't you think I'm cute? Oh, guys, I can't come tomorrow. But I can. Yeah, but nobody cares. Have a good time. Harley, no matter how many followers I get, are you my biggest fan? Yeah. Even though making videos with Harley was amazing, incredible, it was time for Harley to grow up and live an amazing life. It was time for me to break away and go into the big world on my own. Which, at first I thought maybe I'll do inspirational videos, maybe I'll do motivational videos, maybe I'll just do silly skets. Now, I ended up going on the streets of Cardiff, being the crazy prankster you know as Ben Phillips. <laughs> Stick them up. <laughs> However, it wouldn't be any different, anything less crazy, anything less special, if this wasn't a Ben Phillips video with the best memories of the last 10 years while I take you on a journey through memory lane of Ben and Elliot. Oh, yeah. Sorry, bro. Hi, my name is Ben Phillips. I've been doing pranks for about seven years, Ev. Unicorns be like. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? Okay, is the penny inside the bottle? <laughs> oh, Unicorns be like. He's offside. He's offside. Ah! <laughs> 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 swollen dick. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> if I had a little drop of chili oil to his aftershave. Chili's plus face mask. My face is on fire! <laughs> 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 what? Hey, uh, what? You got tissue on you. <laughs> <laughs> what is in my hair? Super glue. <laughs> Super glue. <laughs> you stupid idiot! 
I thought if I apply super glue to this sun lounger, <laughs> super glued it. <laughs> Why is there a finger stuck at my nose? I there? don't know any of <laughs> Stop! That's disgusting! Look at me! Go! Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> it was 19 it's years just... of hair! <laughs> <laughs> my bloody mouth! <laughs> is that a snake? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what are you doing? My nose is stuck! I feel like I'm having a nose off of a gypsy. It looks as if you've got a vagina in your nose. <laughs> vagina! The vagina! He's got a bouncy castle! Oh, Gav, Bale's boot up, you have nose later on. Oh, I see there's a bit of dope in yet. So this is where Ben has his amazing meetings. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, my oh, my oh, my oh, my oh, my oh, my oh, oh, my oh, my oh, my oh, my my oh, my oh, my oh, my oh, my my Hey, what the heck are you doing? Don't, don't give me those soft guys, Ben. It's here. Oh, Stop, he's oh, gonna go off at Elliot. No, what? Stop. Stop. He's I'm gonna slip it. Watch the road. Nah, nah, watch the road. Oh, oh, oh. Nah, nah. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Chris, go, go, go. Oh. Some luck. That's you. <laughs> what what the f are you wearing? <laughs> what the f is going on with my hair? Is my hair fixed now? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell whether he's angry or surprised. Oh no. I'm gonna get you! I look like a walking tampon! What are you gonna do about it? Raise to the lower. I think my child! On three. Oh! What is it? <laughs> Subscribe to the channel to see more. This is Instagram photos. This is like screenshots. Oh my goodness! Hey. This. Go 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 go. Side the guest on my knees. Then do a soup. Elliot's having coke. Yeah. <laughs> I'm late for my fight. So we're not bad. Hunter while he's on. Elliot is currently in his caravan. I feel like I'm about to shoot someone like sight in Just drive to the shop! Are you kidding me? Why are you recording? Screw PJ. Santa always entrances through the chimney. Hey, get off the track! What are you doing? Just get off the track! <laughs> I don't like you saying bolt gone wrong. <laughs> F you, Ben! Oh shit! Oh, hey, what are you so doing? So Having a sold out worldwide tour. It is 6 a.m. I now need to catch a flight to Hong Kong. Taiwan! Kuala Lumpur. Sydney. sitting in a dog cage for 16 and a half hours. I'm not a dog. You 
silly piece of shit. Big That's dick. Me. Big dick. Chicken claw! <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Hey, shit, though, yeah. <laughs> Ben's just made me pickled duck egg. Eat, eat, eat. Edit, edit, edit. Guys, this view is incredible. Animation. Now obviously a lot of people like cartoons and a lot of people like animated films. However, at the time nobody was thinking about animated YouTube channels. And for me, it was simple. Ben and Elliot were the biggest household name in pranks in the world. And of course, a cartoon would fit perfectly if the characters could do pranks that were never possible to do in real life. From Nana going to space, to Elliot nearly getting eaten by a dragon, cartoons were the way forward for us. And when we launched these cartoons, they didn't just go big in the UK, America, Australia, but huge in Asia. And that is where Ben and Elliot animation began. One brother pranked the other, and filmed it on a phone, uploaded it to the internet so you could watch at home. Now come along on an adventure and learn things as we go. That's friends that joke together, it's the Ben and Elliot Show. I'm an internet star, but without me wouldn't get that far. I play pranks on him all day, and they always leave me with a scar. Together we have millions of views, and they always end up with a bruise. Flashing cars and big watches, hospital bills and walking sticks, broken bones, mobile phones, I just want to be left alone. Like, subscribe, comment below. <laughs> Let me guess, hashtag sorry bro? Got it. It's the Ben and Elliot Show. Oh, oh dear. So that me and Elliot were making virals every day, doing daily pranks, literally taking over the nation, taking over the world at this point. Of course, we were getting older and a small little terrace house wouldn't have fit the two of us in. So I decided to move out and get my own place, also known as the Bro Mansion. Welcome to the Bro Mansion! Yeah! <laughs> As much as there were special memories here at the Bro Mansion, of course we lived at other houses, the barn, Mayrick House, Nana's bungalow at one point, but if I could buy one of them again, it would definitely be... Right, the no, that is where this ends. You are not buying this property. Oh my god, this Elliot. This me hell, alright? So, no, 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 you are not buying this place, so Naxi, get out of this place, Naxi! Naxi! Well, right then, then, I've got a question now. So, calm yourself. You're about to speak then. Go yeah, on. calm yourself down. Right. I always get asked this all the time whenever I go shopping or something like that. Why do you twitch so much? As if you've done a line of cocaine every day. Now you put on the spot. I'm not going to twitch now on camera, am I? You can't help it. I can see your diet. Yes. Hey! Three, four. Stop, 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 stop. Five, six. Stop, stop. A six twitch. The problem is with the twitching, I'm not on drugs. I need to tell you all that. It's actually a good question. I'm not on drugs, obviously, and you can actually back me up. It's not a drug situation. It was, I had these pictures since I was younger, when I was five years old, and funny enough, my mother came into the room and I said, Man, there's something wrong with my eyes. And I went like that, twitch, twitch, twitch. I couldn't stop the muscles moving. And I went to the hospital. It turns out I ended up having a very mild form of tics and also 
a, lady, a lot of stuff leading with it, which I'm not going to go into, but I say things when I shouldn't say things. It's it's a hard street, but I have ticks in my eye. One of the very famous places that happened in the beginning was the pub. It was always the pub where you'd always find Farmer Chris, Elliot Giles, and occasionally Sir Patrice. The amount of pranks we've done here, and I thought I'd just bring the boys to talk about it. What's one of the best pranks you remember in the pub? Go in the toilet. Portaloo. Oh, Portaloo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 the plum in the toilet! What prank was you going to say? The Christmas tree, the exploding Christmas tree. Oh, shit. Oh, that was bad. That was mad. Was really bad. Who actually lit those fireworks in the end? <laughs> Probably me. You lit the Look. fireworks? Merry Christmas, pieces of shit. And I remember that, I remember that one point. You went through a table. I did, oh, I got shot with the firework. Do you remember the point where Nana's walking off slowly and the fire just goes past yeah. it? She had no so idea. Close. I think like Grandad lost his dentures. Grandad's dentures fell out. Take a look at the five and ten. Yeah. And also the time there was some unreleased footage we did film you. Remember for a tour? Yeah. We did a massive production. Thing when there. we he had no idea and yeah and yeah. and we had the pumps connected yeah, with it. Yeah, that was and good. It flooded. We... That was not good. It was funny. No, that was not good. No, it was very funny, bro, to be fair. The fact that you basically lived here, you were always here. Well, when there's a beer in sight, it's like another relationship. And the Comedy Central. The Comedy Central. I've killed poor Elliot. I can't believe we killed him. Let me rephrase that. I can't believe Ben killed him. Shitty, shitty video. Turned up to take Elliot surfing, but he was dead. The Elliot was involved in an accident. I, I, I'm just... I, so we've got a camera crew following us behind the scenes, but they were about to catch our biggest prank blow up in our faces. Literally. Elliot, you stupid idiot! It's a cheap. Pull out the toilet roll. What actually happened with you and that girl? What? What was her name? He remembers. <laughs> uh, I forgot her name. There was a girl uh, that was basically in the Comedy Central. Tris, uh, Chris had a, a massive thing for. Yeah. And, uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Pub serving you was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot. Of... <laughs> In what order did we introduce characters to the brand? Who was the first, first person in the videos? Chris. No. No, it wasn't actually. It was Nana. Hey, what are you oh. doing? Can you come and cut my hair off? Oh, what the hell? Nana, why don't you this? Nana, it's not going to work. Why isn't it? Why? Why? Well, you didn't cut it off. You're leaving your life for 69 in your kitchen. <laughs> Nana, do you even know who 69 is? That's a man. That was 1970. <laughs> Oh, get out! 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 Get If I sit myself, you're in the river. <laughs> Do what you like with him. Throw him in the river. I don't care. <laughs> what is it? Mara Joanna. Who the hell is Joanna? Thanks, Elle, for the meat. It was bloody lovely. Enjoy that and granddad dead. <laughs> Yeah. Please, please, down the ground, you're under arrest, that's next to a vehicle and human organs. Mm. What the hell do the I want? Put the phone down, put the phone down. No, what do I want organs for you? You stupid soul, mm. get going. Where did you get that from? I just made it. Who told you to make the tea? Why well, is this one bit out of tea? I don't care. Do you know what I get? What do you bring me? How do you know I didn't take it? Get out! Get out! Oh, I'm going to use the knife! Get out! Sorry, bro. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
I didn't expect it. The only thing is, it's got Elliot Giants on it, and they're not Elliot Giants. What the bloody hell's going on? <laughs> I'm busy at the moment, but I'll talk to you after. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get out of here, you piece of shit. Go on. I've loved doing what I did. And that, and it, it's a nice feeling that you can help somebody or, you know, to help them along. And that's what everybody else should do. Be kind and that, and help people. And don't be so horrible in the world, because it is, the world is terrible. There's really a lot of suffering and that going on in the world. And there shouldn't be. Everybody should love one another. And Grandad. Nana and Grandad. Nana and Grandad. And then it was Chris. Then it's Chris. This is Chris. This and is Chris's lap. He's a good friend of mine. Hi. Hi, I'm a Chris. Hi. We you recording today, Chris? I don't know. Part two of... Uh... I've got no one. I like the sight of my mouth. It's all good fun. <laughs> Go Chris, go! No, Chris! Chris, do it for the vine! Go, go, go! Watch the run! Watch the run! We have got a race! Should we get on dry lap? We're back in Chris's bandwagon. Here we go. Chris, I've gone to go and get a tractor, which we've successfully done. And now we're going to get some sheep. Get down there. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. I'm falling. I'm falling. Hey, all right, calm down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That prank didn't go to plan, Chris. No, so we're from far. It does not go to plan. Blue. We need to I'll get bought on that. You're gonna need a lot of water, mate. Like, a lot. <laughs> Stop going around the eye! <laughs> Eddie, are you enjoying this? No, it's ridiculous. You're telling me, Chris, he can't. What if he loses his job? He's not gonna get fired. <laughs> Literally on the edge, on the edge of the bank. Just on the edge of the bank, yeah? <laughs> Go! Shove it! Pint? Pint! Subscribe <laughs> to the channel to see more. That'll do. I knew Ben and Elliot from actually the pub down the road from me. So yeah, family, childhood friends you could say. The first prank I made with Ben and Elliot was the waterbed one. Where we, Elliot was sleeping and we dragged him out on the waterbed and set him a sail across, uh, yeah, across the lake there. I hated becoming famous, <laughs> like I couldn't even go to a shop anymore without people chasing me. Yeah, no, it was good. I look, look back on it with uh, yeah, a lot of good memories and, and uh, memories that I'll cherish forever. So yeah, when I left Ben and Elliot, I actually went around the world uh, running safety and, and filming documentaries all around the world. So I was very privileged. Uh, I'd definitely see having Ben and Elliot as a stepping stone to that. And uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. One of my favourite moments with the boys. We were on a ferry crossing on the UK tour and uh, we had a photo taken in front of a bus. And uh, I think that's when it was like, actually, this is quite serious. I don't know how some idiots from Virginia have got this far, but uh, yeah, this might go somewhere. And then, uh, yeah, lots and lots of good memories, but, but a lot I can't repeat as well. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun to, that we had. The thing I miss the most is probably the lads, to be fair. It was just good crack every time, you know, we turned up. I haven't seen each other for, for a long, long time and uh, it's like nothing's changed. You still have a, have a good crack and have a laugh and I think that's what made it all so special all the way through. And uh, yeah, in a heartbeat I would do it all over again. I think, I think the, water, uh, the waterbed was probably one of the most prolific pranks we'd ever made. It is your best one I've said. It, I've said it's your best ever prank. And it was done on you. But it was one of the most prolific exactly. pranks ever made. And at that time, because the pranks went so crazy and so big, I needed somebody else to support me in it. And that's where we introduced Surfer Triss. See, Skirt, that was... Kevin, who's that? Zero Picks. What? No. Is this one? 
Hello, Mrs. Phillips. Hello, Mr. Phillips. Hello. Hello. Chef of Trust? He's the most prestige surfer I've ever met. He only runs some of the beaches in this UK. He only surfs jaws, 20 foot sharp waves. And most of all, his name is Tristan and he's from South Africa. Farmer Chris, is that you? Hello, mate. What the? It's really good picture. Georgina! <laughs> do you do the dab? Oh! Chris, why do you do this in the rain? Rain or shine? <laughs> <laughs> so Tristan, you're new to me. Um, how long have you lived in Wales for? I've lived in Wales approximately for 10 years. I'm not doing it. No, you are, bro. <laughs> Drink and so do you. Yeah, right? boy! Good day! Get any worse! Hey, Chris, what are you doing? Ah! Fuck! Uh, guys, follow my Instagram if you want any more tips. <laughs> And my earliest memory of Ben and Elliot is when I came across Ben, well, not so much Elliot, I came across Ben at McDonald's. I remember speaking to him about what he was doing with his life. He asked me the question, I said I was in college, doing my thing. And then I asked him the question, what are you doing with your life? Oh, we're doing these Facebook videos. And, and I thought to myself, Facebook videos? Who in their right mind does fucking Facebook videos? Lo and behold, I remember seeing them online absolutely killing it and that was one of my first memories of Ben and Elliot on you know on a different sort of scale it wasn't so much Elliot Elliot came at a later stage um I sort of knew Elliot when he, he came to my house party I explained it in previous videos it's the first time I met Elliot and uh I, I gotta be honest <laughs> thank god he's had his teeth done mate because <laughs> he, he was dreadful by far it's probably got to be the comedy central thing um it, it was probably one of the most scariest moments of my life I thought Elliot got blown up in a caravan. There was bones, and I thought there was nothing left of Elliot, just bones. So, but definitely the most exciting, the most amazing thing I was a part of was most certainly Comedy Central. Just the whole process and actually seeing how that sort of team works with all the big cameras. And I was thinking to myself, we do what they do, but with just iPhones. And I thought, in my mind personally, sorry Comedy Central if you're watching this, that we were better than them because we could do what they were doing, just with far less equipment and a, a smaller team. <laughs> oh, shit. The dildo video, by far. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, cool, okay. Just cut to that. <laughs> the dildo video. Next, so, um, uh. Who's your favorite character? Yeah, okay, yeah. Who, who's, who's your favorite character in the brand? This is an easy one for me. Uh, she's a remarkable woman. Beautiful. I've seen her in um, a cat outfit, latex trousers. Oh, mm. Georgina. She's got to be my most favorite. She got bunda. She's thick. Where is she? Trouble. I think it it, it happened every other day. Um, we had police at our doors. We had <laughs> other people at our doors. <laughs> Uh, we had police chasers. Let's just say that our names, Ben, Elliot, Tristan, and some of the other characters' names within the law, are black marked. And for us to do the normal things that normal people do is quite hard without being recognised. So yes, we have been in trouble. I'm not going to go into it. Legal binding contracts and all that stuff. So yeah, we have been in trouble. I'm going to be honest with you. The first, the first couple days when I first joined the brand after getting the introduction video, it was, it was scary. I mean, because I was just a normal guy, you know, doing my college degree, doing my normal day-to-day -day life. And then obviously joining the brand, I grew so fast, so quickly. For any normal human being, you don't really know how to deal with that amount of growth and, 
such a short space of time. So for me, it was it was nerve wracking. I will be honest. I didn't know how to take it for the first couple of weeks. I remember having conversations about like, Shit, I don't know if I can do this anymore and stuff like that. But I mean, it it got easier with time. Um, I, I, I suppose it helps better when you when you've got the right people around you. Oh, yeah. Um, the last ten years is most certainly the the last ten years I'll never forget of my life. Um, I've got stories, <laughs> I've got stories upon stories of the dogs that I work with that can go on for many, many years. It's, it's been a journey of an absolute lifetime. We've seen the most remarkable things. We've done the most remarkable projects. We've been a part of some of the greatest moments we've ever experienced as a group. Traveling the world, you know, doing live shows, doing tours, going viral, probably being the most viral brand in the world at one point. Um, we've definitely had our ups. We've certainly had our downs, but I think the ups has outweighed all the downs 100 to 1. Um, and I think for anybody that's ever wanted to you know, enter the social media world, there's one thing that I've got to tell you, have the right people around you. Because it's a dark, ruthless world, and without the correct people and management around you, you will fall short, and it, it, it will bite you in the ass. What's next for me? I've got a little bun in the oven. Not me, <laughs> my partner. I've got a little daughter on the way. Um, and I think now for me to take a bit of a step and focus on a life I've created. Um, it's something I've always wanted, the boys will know. It's something I've always wanted in my life to be able to actually move away, not from the brand itself, but actually work on building my life and my family with the person that I love. So that for me is next. Um, however, I'm still here and I'm not going anywhere. But for the time being, my daughter, can't wait to meet you, is my main priority right now. Uh, there, there isn't one specifically. Um, there's been a couple of roller coasters. that's been emotional. Um, you know, for, for example, in the beginning when we lost a couple of the characters, for whatever reason. Um, the, most recently, we lost Nana, Marge, um, and you know, watching Grandad not be very well right now. Th those have been probably some of the most, most emotional times. Um, we've had times personally, myself, Ben, Elliot, um, you know, Georgina, all jokes aside, we've all had our emotional times together with one another. Um, it's not for camera sharing purposes. But I think, you know, a lot of emotion and energy we've, we've shared with one another over the past 10 years because um, the industry that we're in, it's very, Fast. It's very like, you know, it takes a lot of your time, emotions, and you know, it takes you away from everything that you love essentially. Obviously, you've got other love for social media, I'm not going to blab on. But it's been emotional for sure. Um, even now, doing this video, knowing that, you know, it's probably the last time I sit in front of a camera as part of the Ben and Elliot brand. Um, it's, it, it is emotional because we shared many, many journeys together, and for it to come to an end like this. It's emotional, but it's also bittersweet because we, we've got a lot to look back onto and remember the good times. But um, I just hope now that we do continue in our own ventures and uh, you will see snippets of our lives together for sure. We're not going anywhere, we're glued together for fuck's sake. Um, and yeah. Wait, you actually think this is the end? Well, that was the brief downstairs. No, 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 it's just 10 year anniversary. We've got 25 years to go, then 50 years to go. What planet are you living on, mate? Read so the what? script next time. But the brief said, take Yeah, cut, okay. whatever, yeah, all right. You never listen to stuff, Dude, ever. Every time I do this, you tell me no, one thing bro, and it just doesn't You're, you're really quitting. You're stuck in a contract for another three years. I actually signed for another 15 years, thank you very much. You meant to say 15 months then. Fuck. No. It's been something I've wanted to say for a very, very long time. Um, I think now is probably the best time for me to say this. Um, I know I've got a daughter on the way and I think it's only right that she and you know the truth about my life. Say it. Just say it. I'm not a real surfer. I should have taken lessons. Hang on, we're missing someone. Georgina! You're missing stupid Georgina! Then it's Tristan, so I'll give him the limelight. Hey! Let's do this shit! Got someone to pay tonight! Sort it out! Let's do it! Fuck out, Scotty! Let's do it! Come on! Stupid fucking act! Let's do it!
those stupid pieces of shit out yet? Block me on Tinder the same night! Fuck around it! Hey! Yo, 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 yo! Yo, Georgia! No, Georgia! No, the spirit! Stop! You stop! Hey, alone, idiot, calm down. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, it's stop! Stop! You're making me shit! Oh, idiot! Whoa, 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 cheapers, oh, stop! Recently, Elliot's been speaking to a girl called Georgina. Hi! So I've just arrived at the pub of Georgina. This is Elliot's day for tonight. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi! Oh, get off me! 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 What are you doing? You shut up, man! Alright, Georgina, Georgina, Georgina. Georgina? No, Jeepers, what you could have said? Flipping it. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, Georgina! 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 Oh, Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, it's disgusting! Georgina, are you okay? You might want to straighten that wig up a little bit. Go on then, Georgina. Oh, what should we start off with? I think we should start off with uh, obviously the most important meal of the day is like a protein bar. <laughs> Georgina, Hi. I thought if I bought a pair of handcuffs attaching Georgina to Elliot, when Elliot wakes up, he's gonna have a big surprise. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Why are you here? Stop! You're driving me! Stop! 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 Let me go! We're not going on a date! Yes, we are. Every time coming on that stupid tour of yours, you got another thing coming. Hey, come on, don't be like that. Look at this, Ben. Do you think they're gonna call me? What? She male lover Giles. <laughs> just, just, just ignore him. Ignore him. Can you please shoot it off? Hey, I'm, I'm no, so sorry. Oh, hey, I want to shoot it off. Hey, <laughs> shoot it off, please, please, please. Right, my life's coming okay. to an end. Okay, listen, girl. See you later. Just sorry, sorry. Have a good day. Get away, oh. go away. Oh. Elliot, smile. Please, I want to smile, Ben. Just smile for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, chill out. Elliot, what the heck? Elliot, Elliot, who are you, Elliot, who are you shouting? Oh, I want to get this thing deported. Oh, oh, who's Liz? No, Elizabeth. The Liz Queen? Oh, Elliot, you can't, she's not going to come out well, to you. I want that deployed so it's helped my life, and I want you deployed, and I want those 8 million people deployed as well. Why is everyone looking at me? Right, Elliot, it's because you're Stop coming. looking at me! Oh, oh, Elliot, chill out, jeepers. Calm down. Oh, stay at me! Right, chill out. It's this. It's getting on my tits. Right, Elliot, chill out. I want to throw this thing off the bridge. Oh, but if I if I throw it off, I go with it. <laughs> Elliot, for goodness sake, key. Elliot, I've got the flipping key, you dog. I've had it the whole time in my pocket. Oh, you tell me this now. Don't, 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 Ben, Ben, I'm being serious. Ben, give me the key. Do it. Ah! <laughs> That's the very key to the. So, what do you think of Sir Patrice, the this new guy in oh, town? I think the new progressions are fantastic, Ben. They're brilliant. Oh, he's so lovely to look at, Ben. Really? Oh, I can't get my eyes off him. But Ben, he's not as good as my boy Elliot. What? He's not as good as my boy Elliot. But look at him. Look, look, look. He's teaching Elliot right now. Oh, look at that, Ben. Oh, he's gorgeous, Ben. Oh, Ben. What, Elliot or Tristan? Both. Oh. Both. Would you do a sandwich? Oh, definitely! However, I did need someone, let's say, smarter, a little bit brighter, and had some handy hands, small hands, with a camera. Cameraman Carl, the midget. Cameraman Carl, the midget. Okay. One and only Carl is back! Have you not met me? I'm crazy. <laughs>
the fuck? Fuck. Uh -huh. on the sheets and you know what I feel? Do you know what I feel? <laughs> Fucking dumb! Fucking dumb sheets! What happened this time? I lost the odds! Oh my gosh! Can you do something? Do something! Carl, Carl, give up, give up, give up! Seriously, Carl, Carl! Carl, hold your breath! Carl, Carl, you, Carl. Bro, bro, you were losing it for goodness sake, idiot! I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. <laughs> Can you cut <come> down? <laughs> bro, bro, you actually fell. Bro. You actually. The envelope, You're tiny, girl. Yeah, Stop, he's gonna go off for Elliot. No, what? Stop! I'm he's gonna. Like the wreck and ball. Sorry. I'm a. Bro, oh, you're just gonna just stand there and chat him. Cheers, cheers. Gay lovers forever. I can't believe I just kissed you! Shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, Ben? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh So, come on now! Why the Game Boy's called? <laughs> Rub some sass on it. Bro, you're drinking white, like, white wine at like one o'clock in the day. What's up with you? <laughs> I look ridiculous. I went in, bro, and I've come out of gin. <laughs> Do I got you, Jesus? <laughs> nah, nah, what's wrong? Oh, oh, oh! oh. Nah, nah. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> What's the earliest memory you have of Ben and Elliot? Probably breaking Elliot's nose with the Zorball, actually. That was probably the first one that I remember because that prank went horribly wrong. And I think that was like my first or second day on the job. Oh, and we tr we crashed the drone on the M4 as well. And all the police... Oh, actually, I can't speak about that because, yeah, we... Um... Have you ever got in trouble with Ben and Elliot? <laughs> yeah. Lots of times you've got in trouble with these two. If I remember correctly, uh, back around the dildo series, that infamous time of our history, uh, we painted a dick on Elliot's head, literally just by there. And somebody called the police and said that he was wielding a machete in the street, attacking people. So he was sat in Marge's, passed out with a dick on his face, when a riot van turns up, says, where's Elliot Giles? Guns pulled everything, and we're just like, back, back there. Why, what's wrong? So they storm in to go and arrest him, and then I'm like, what's happened? Apparently he's been wielding a machete in the street. I went, oh, it's not that kind of machete you're thinking about, mate. Who's your favorite character in the brand? I think it'd have to be Georgina, to be honest with you. Just because every time Georgina showed up, all shit would break loose and you don't know what would happen. I remember one time on National Women's Day, Elliot threw her down the stairs, literally threw her down the stairs. And it was like that every single time that she showed up. Someone would go down the stairs, someone would go through a table, someone would be on fire. And that was Georgina down to a T. What was it like becoming famous after, uh, you know, when we started? So I remember we were sat in a taxi in London. We made my Instagram public and everybody started following me and my phone drained by like 40% in about 10 minutes. And I was like, oh shit. Uh, and that was the point where everything changed for me because I was never meant to be on camera. I was never meant to speak. I was, you know, I was only there to film the chaos. And then Elliot said something stupid to me one day and the rest was history. But now it's opened up the doors to do so many amazing things like the tour, the book, countless pranks that even I can't remember. It's had a massive, massive impact on my life for the good. I'm very, very grateful that I fell into this role and fell into this chaos because it's maybe who I am today. What was it like standing on stage and all those people screaming back at your tour when you said, are you ready? Standing on stage in the tour was just, it was otherworldly. That energy that you had from people, the crowds, they were so on fire every single night. We didn't have a quiet night on tour, which was amazing, which showed what you guys were like in terms of how much you loved us as characters and loved us watching us on YouTube every day and coming to see us as well. And that was just like an energy that I've never felt before and I've never felt since. And I couldn't be more grateful that I got to experience that because that was a dream ticked off the bucket list. So I first met Ben, I think it was year four or year five in school. He moved to, to my school um, and we also actually lived around the corner, literally two minutes away. So we, we grew up together, we used to play football in the local park together. We knew each other all the way through school. 
uh, drifted apart after school as you normally do and then one day you walked into Halfords, was looking for a videographer, I had the skills and the rest was history. The last 10 years of Ben and Elliot have been chaos, carnage, pain, suffering, laughs, jokes, fun, love and friendship. I think we then started bringing loads of different characters because you had Jake come in and followed with Jake was sure. sure, Pricey. Good old Pricey. Prison Price. Prison Price. That's what I call him. What is the most memorable moment you've ever been there? Is? It has to be one of the Prank the Haters. Uh, it was my first time on shoot actually with the boys and it was the zombie prank that was uh, riveting to say the least. I've known Ben a little longer than Elliot. Me and Ben were uh, sort of mutual friends uh, back as early as, jeez. Can we leave your ex-girlfriend out of this please? Just uh, leave it. Forget. <sighs> Let's not talk your ex-girlfriend. Carry on. So next question, thanks. What's your favourite moment in the last 10 years of Ben there? Prank, no prank, time, moment, whatever it matters. It would have to be uh, one of the fabulous trips we've been on, whether it be seeing musicians going around the world. I couldn't put a, a finger on it, there's been so many of them. Um, a list as long as my own. Of course. Crane the cleaner. Everyone loves Crane the cleaner. Oh. God. So we had Father Chris, we had Surfer Chris, we had Cameron Carl, we had Jake, Sean, we had Sean Price. Prison and Price. then we had one, actually one that we've both missed to be fair. What yeah, I know there is one. Marge. Marge, Marge, say hello. Hello. Oh, we miss you so much, Marge. <laughs> How is Norman the cat? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah. Been all the time. <laughs> Marge. I need your help of a prank. Oh, I haven't got time for this. Marge, what is this stupid. Hey, you're gonna stop. Hey. Stop. Hey. Oh. oh! I think it's Marge. What? What? Marge! Bloody hell, the sharpness with a bloody foot! Oh. <laughs> Marge, you and Norman have made the book. Yes, it's a lovely book, isn't it? Yeah, you, you, what, what's your thoughts? Well, I like it. I've got my Norman in it. Yeah? It's got my house. So Shut up, Norman. Be quiet. <laughs> Elliot, leave it alone. Oh, hey, Marge. Hey. Is he, uh... What's the sight lost, doesn't he? He's going to make yourself feel drinking like this all the time. Marge, why do you let him stay in your house overnight? Well, that's the way I am. Oh, I missed one. What have you done to him? What have you done? Do you know what happened? You know it's a t-shirt, don't you, Marge? Not a, a tea towel. Yes, I know. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> You're Marge? Cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Instagram 32. Has she Instagram Marge? Oh my god. <laughs> what happened you got? I bet this cost a packet. Aren't you you're recording a cartoon today? Yes. <laughs> hey, this is stupid. Oh, this is bull crap. Now she's here. Do you remember what was your part in the school of pranks? Oh, dinner lady. Dinner lady. <laughs> oh my god. God. What the hell's the matter then? The heater won't turn off. Why were you not in the first place? Because I didn't... You tap back! It's off out there! It went off on its own! Do you want me to show you where? Right, I'll, I think I know. Stop staring my dick, you weirdo! Oh, see many more of those. I've got a problem, Ben! Oh. Bust, 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 stop, bust, bust, stop, bust, stop, 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 it's Marge, Marge, it's Marge, oh my gosh, it's Marge. Marge. Oh, it's Marge. Oh, it's Marge. Oh, she's Marge. <laughs> Where? Marge. Oh, gosh. I mean, hey, Marge. If she's dead, you're blooming screwed. No, kiss the kiss, you donut. I, I it's Marge. Marge. Elliot Giles has actually given our neighbour Marge. Hey. Oh, it's the best kiss I've had for a long time. Come on. <laughs> Marge. Go. Oh. Oh. Marge UK! Marge UK, in the hood. Oh, what have we got in you then? What do I want this for? <laughs> oh, I thought I'd pass him his toilet drones. <laughs> Hello, coming in. Yeah. No, man, we got visitors. <laughs> Quick, come and see. I think that's dog food, Marge. Is it? <laughs> well, that's what he's always on to play with his toy. And I throw it. 
hit me! We have had relationships through our time. We have both of our relationships. And one of the relationships, which was a bit of a landmark in the entire brand, yeah. five years was mine and George's. Uh, or as you know, G. Haynes. And myself and Georgia shared some very special memories, some very special trips around the world, and obviously had experienced some amazing things that I didn't even experience with Edith, experienced with Georgia. And that is part of this story, and I did say again. This is a joke. No, it's not a joke. We, we, are, we are handcuffed for 24 hours together. This is the worst part. She just walked off of the card machine. If this declines. Oh, oh Taurus, we're so <laughs> Taurus. My name's Burnett. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna contour your face when you have a beard. So Jeffrey Star. It is Jeffrey Star. It is. Yeah. Guys, we've been watching our Jeffrey Star Shane Dawson series. Do you want me to punch you in the face? <laughs> we can go for a nice little Mac glossy called Kiss and Cuddle. So it makes your lips plumpy. I wish you'd kiss and cuddle me. Yeah. So stand it. Right. And let's give you the light and no, the glow because this that. Like this. Yeah, we're not done until I have a pink wig like you. Oh, you just messed up again. <laughs> I just messed up the wig. Hi, how's it going? I would be so scared of you if you were a girl with <laughs> six foot four monster. What are you saying, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> just picture us on the front of the roller coaster, mate. You honestly reminded me of something like, oh, I'm going to shout it out in my sleep or something. She's going to wake up and go, oh, she has fun! Da 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 <laughs> no, I'm so this sorry. is crying. I always <laughs> cry. <laughs> Not so much characters, but furry friends. We've had a lot of furry friends in the past. We have Cookie the Rabbit. Yeah, Cookie. Vuitton the Cat. Jasper. Jasper. Norman. Yeah. Norman, don't even say his name, Norman the cat. But two of our furry friends right now who are very well alive, kicking and asking for chewies and cheese, <laughs> Beast and Storm. Whose dog have you stolen? No, it's, it's ours. I bought you a dog. I bought us a dog. It's the present. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god, you're shaking. No, I've, he's I've never held a puppy well. <laughs> it's not the same time here with you. Oh, he's sniffing my toes! <laughs> what? He's actually tiny! Oh, you just peed on the- Oh! He peed on the carpet! He, oh my god, yeah, yeah, yes! He... <laughs> oh, <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching. Comment oh, below what I should be called. Uh, I want to say sorry, bro, but whatever. Sorry, bro! Oh, hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm here and uh, <laughs> God, I can't go to the Normal names of the Tristan. Anything at all that is. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. So we have all the names lined up. He is one little hungry puppy. Look, he's biting me, he's biting me, he's ready. Okay, go. Which one? Don't record me, please. <laughs> <laughs> he's picked don't record me, please. You can't be that one. It's Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna fix it. You cannot be called Trevor. Get off! No, you're not being dirty. <laughs> Go. Oh! He has officially called himself. Jesus. And it, I'm gonna ruin your life. Sorry, bro. That's gonna fly like that beast. Beast! I'm trying to put you in the flight assistant. You want to You want to That's a good boy. Get you now. Oh my God! It's only any child. Oh no! <laughs> I'm keeping my money. <laughs>
fuss over me? Huh? What's going on? Oh, and I come to the office. Oh, is everyone, everyone making a fuss over me? Huh? What's going on? Oh, and I come to the office. Oh, I'll see you. I'll see you later. Okay? Shh. Sure. Read. What's the penis? What's the penis? Go. This is the pancake spin. I don't skip. So that's been the last 10 years, and as I said in the beginning, we'll show you the last 10 years, but what's going to happen in the next 10 years? Well, to be honest with you, I don't know, Elliot doesn't know, but all I do know is that the videos will continue in a different style, different manner, a way that shows more of our life, us growing up and going into a different direction. Yes, there will be the odd prank here and there, no doubt. However, I am now 31 years old today. Oh Elliot Giles is currently 26 six years old and of course after throwing ourselves through windows and the cars into fires No, no, there's no we! Okay. There's no we! After Elliot has Elliot. basically thrown his body into the fire and I have mentally thrown my mind into destruction I didn't offer by the way We will continue entertaining you till the end of our days and I want to say Elliot while we're here thank you so much for not only entertaining me entertaining the entire world, entertaining people as they went to work, entertaining kids as they went to school, entertaining people just lying in their bed watching our videos at late night or 7.50 every day on the daily uploads that I would like to add no YouTuber has ever done three years every day in a row doing daily uploads. Oh god, makes me tired thinking about it. But Ben, I would also like to thank you mate. As much as I find it mad that I'm actually thanking him, I don't know what I'm thanking him for, but one thing I will thank you for just provide, is my verified provide tics. Uh, your verified tickets. That's tics. the only thing I've ever done for you. Yeah. That's well, the only thing. on that note, I would like to say to every single one of you thank you for watching the videos. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn the notification on, and comment below hashtag sorry bro. And remember, it could be worse. Whether you're having a bad day, or you're on a downer, or you're just on a difficult time, you could be poor Elliot. Oh, I got a date to attend. I didn't just realise the time. I can't do that whole clip of it. Like, no, I'm sorry, you ruined it. I, I, was like an I have to go, mate. Really nice. I was just doing right. what the fans oh. want. Is that, you're not going to sign this off in any other way. Like, we have to do this again, boys. This is terrible. Stop recording!
wasting myself in 10 years' time? Yeah. On the big screen, Hollywood. Ben Pranks Elliot. Ben Pranks Elliot. 